Good morning, folks. We're starting today with the highest energy form of light, a gamma ray burst, cosmic acceleration of tiny particles. We're going to lean on NASA, Goddard Space Flight Center. They released a ton of media related to the highest energy light gamma burst humans have ever seen. It was detected by spacecraft observatories on April 27th of this year, reported on this channel May 4th. The Scientific Visualization Studio did a great job on this one. We're coming to Comet Ison, where Bruce Gary also believes visibility is about done till post-perihelion. Last shots on his site before the break here. Comet continues to brighten, but without using Stereo A HI1, it's almost impossible to see right now. Let's come to Stellarium and bring up the sun. Then, down at the bottom, we're going to turn off the atmosphere here. It reveals what the daylight is hiding. I will also go to the left menu and pull up the date and time control. As I step forward day by day, you see an outstanding conjunction in the morning sky coming here soon. Enki even in the mix. Mercury and Saturn perfectly conjoin the 25th here. Remember, we're already between Venus and Jupiter. Quick look at the U.S. drought zones. This morning, we're going to quickly also come to the expected weather for some of those areas because we actually expect that low sitting on the coastline to funnel Pacific moisture over some of the drought zones all day maybe even flood them. How about them apples? Top weather watch on the planet right now is Helen affecting the Indian coastline, kicking it to Indonesia, Mount Merapi. It erupted a few days ago and covered local towns with ash. One of the links below was to their seismograph readings. Clearly one of the most active areas on Earth. Remember, this is where those buoys are from my video, Disturbance Under the Ocean. Last bit of article related news, second time this year the Tornas nuclear station's seawater cooling system is plugged with seaweed. Solar wind is relatively calm, speed near the low end of normal, with normal density and plasma temperature. KP index confirms pure geomagnetic quiet and the near earth space is energetically calm as well. Solar flaring, the M1 that happened as yesterday's video was uploading to YouTube takes the cake since that time. Sunspots turning out of view here, not magnetically mixing, don't even have many umbras with which to interact. Mostly it's the big solo spots turning across the disk. Not much visible incoming either. The corona hole power waned last night. Remember we're already waiting for the planets and the space weather so that makes virtually no quake factors in play. Although the coronal fields blocking the openings do appear to be separating a bit up at the north solar pole now. Saw a number of above average quakes and unusual location rumbles, but matching the factors, nothing that would cause any damage to anything. Interestingly, the US has quieted also from their uptick the last 10 days, except of course for human activity, which reveals multiple quarry blasts in this area. If you pull up all magnitudes on USGS, it is indeed very rare not to see at least one quarry blast diamond marker. Also, Took one way, way north that the USGS blatantly ignored. Sometimes I think they're unaware of the plots up its fall bar. Just kidding. Got shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.